Hi everyone, this is Brian Gundy from For Goodness Snakes and I'm up in the Santa Cruz Mountains uh, herping and uh, or just animal hunting in general and came upon this really nice alligator lizard and one of the things I wanted to kind of focus, a couple things I wanted to focus on in this little video are um, the, unique characteristics, the unique characteristics uh, that really separate most lizards and snakes. Uh, one of the most obvious characteristics is that lizards blink. I believe most of them do, if not all of them. And um, uh, snakes don't. Snakes don't have eyelids. And if you notice, if you touch this, this lizard's eye, well, he will blink his eye. He can close his eye. Another thing is that lizards have ears. You can see right there on the side of his head. He's got a hole in his head, that's the ear canal. And inside of that hole is an eardrum or a tympanic membrane. And he can hear everything that we can. I didn't, I've never mentioned this before, but um, snakes don't have ears. They actually have bones in their jaws that I think will vibrate when sound waves are picked up or when vibrations from the ground are picked up. Sorry about this. We're just haphazardly doing this. Uh, let's see, okay. So yeah, he's an alligator lizard, western alligator lizard. Uh, interesting lizard. Uh, they actually have live birth. He eats just about anything insect. They make great pets, even though they do have a tendency to bite at first when you first catch them and stuff. They calm down really quick. And they got, they can get quite large. This is about a 12, 12 inch, 13 inch lizard. Nice tail. Almost a prehensile tail. You can see if I pull on it like this, the lizard's tail will curl around my finger and they'll actually hang by it. A very skink-looking, like-looking lizard, and uh, one that I see all the time up in the Santa Cruz Mountains or anywhere around uh, San Francisco Bay Area, and I'm sure they're mostly all over the country. All right, everyone, just having fun out here. You guys take care.